Hey guys, welcome to Shojib Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import the game SDK sample project for CryEngine. It has very useful assets, a lot of terrain, texture, and materials. Pretty much, pretty much a lot of things that you need to, to do your level design. So let's get started. Open your CryEngine client and then go to Marketplace. All right. So for marketplace, you can go to um, type in um, game SDK. All right, so you want to download this Ranging game SDK sample project. It's a big project, but it has pretty much a lot of useful stuff you need. Um, it has uh, textures, materials, a um, lot of useful stuff. So um, since I already have this, right, you should see a button to download it. This is for free. After you download it, it will show up in your assets section right here. So go there and download it and put it in your uh, project folder. Um, so this is what I'm going to after you have downloaded, right? All right, so go to um, create a new project. We're going to create a new C sharp project blank. I'm going to call it game one. So you will see the project get created here. Don't open it. Click on the this wheel icon and go to reveal in Explorer. This will take you to the project folder. So in this project folder, if I go to this is the project, right? So you know if you have a projects folder where you can have all the projects, that's where I put the game SDK, uh, the assets that I downloaded from the store. This 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 project. Um, so you can put it there. So I'm going to go there and copy a couple of assets from there. So if you go to game SDK, game SDK, and you will see a lot of .pak extensions files, right? So I'm going to copy pretty much uh, all the .pak files. You don't need them all, but you know you can play around with them. So copy all the .pak files and put it in your uh, put your projects folder and go to assets paste them here so you can do this over and over again with every new project that you do you get a lot of free assets with it this is super useful all right so i've copied all the pk files and now i'm going to go open my game one project all right so i have the project open this is how it looks like right i want to create a new level name it level one save i'm going to keep it small 128 by 120 texture dimension is going to be 1024 by 1024 everything remains the same okay all right so this is what i get right so the benefit of having the package right you will see all the in your assets browser if you don't see it you can go to tools and asset browser you will see this and you see all those assets that you have imported all this here these are the new assets um, so you can go to terrain editor so if you go to tools uh terrain editor you'll something like that go to edit make an island so this will make the, make this small piece of land into an island and you have water surrounded um so i'm going to play around with the so go to paint and in here in the layers go to materials And this will open the select material, go to materials, and go to terrain. These are all the things that we got. You can plan with all of this. Um, so we're gonna try. Alright, I'm gonna pick this. I'm gonna pick a ground stone. Um ground stone rough. Alright, so I'm happy with this. Go to tools, open a visit visitation editor, you will get this window. In here, I'm going to create a folder and I'm going to name it grass. I'm going to create another folder and I'm going to name it trees. All right, click on the grass folder and click on the second icon add object. All right, here in here, I'm going to create um, add different type of grasses. Uh, if I go to objects, um, then nature. Um, ground on see ground of uh, field grass 
if I click on grass, you get to preview what kind of grass you're looking at. I like these field grasses, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna browse over all of them. All right, so I'm gonna select all of them. I select all of them and open, and they will all get it into the grasses folder, right? Now what I can do is I can just select grass and click on paint. I can just simply paint it. Make sure the radius is small enough so that you can paint in different location. Um, also, uh, you want to change the okay. You want to select random rotation. Let's give it a try. How it looks. Uh, it might be too overcrowded and they're like nicely organized. So I'm going to go to erase and erase it. And then I'm going to try, try uh, different combination like AI radius density. Okay, density. I'm going to try density. Let me give it ten right and go to paint and paint right now it looks like not too dense but i can paint it now all right All right, I'm going to leave it like this for right now, all right? Um, now I'm done with grass, and let's say I'm going to add trees, right? So I'm going to do the same thing. Click on the trees folder and click on add objects. And then I'm going to go to nature again, nature, uh, trees, and then these are the all trees you can get. Um, okay, let's go with Aspen, all right? So we're going to pick this, this. Not this, not the dead ones. Up to this. So all of this, 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 this. I'm skipping the dead ones and no leaves ones. All right. We can open, and they all will be added to the trees. We can do the same thing. Uh, fix the radius. All right. So radius could be a little bigger, ten maybe. Okay. And then we want to add uh, random rotation and the density density could be 10 all right let's try okay let's increase the density to uh what we can do is like hide the grass folder click on the grass folder and click uncheck this so it will hide it and we're going to erase this i'm going to try different density i click on trees again 20 there you go there you go. So you can do this. Click on this, and you create create um, different rotation and okay. There you go. Uh, not the one here. Um, not too close to the water. And you can click on erase to erase them. Um, maybe you here. Yeah. All right, I think this looks fine. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the grass. I think the grass is too less, and we can create a grass too. Create another folder, call it grass two, and in this folder I'm going to add objects and go to the same uh, nature round. Uh, grass. All right. So these are the grass that I want to eat. I want to add, right? Okay. I'm going to select all of them and open. Then grass two. I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, random rotation and density is going to be fifteen. Let's see if I can paint it. Nice. 
clear erase from this area. Hold on. Uh, it's not too close to the water. Maybe. There you go. All right, so we have the grass two added. Let's add grass one, the first one, and add trees. Hopefully this is not too crowded, right? Yeah, I think this looks fine. Uh, I mean, in nature, in real life, I don't know how it looks like, but I wanted to show you um, how to import um, the game SDK sample project, uh, including the assets. Actually, the assets, not the project itself, because we are using the assets only and how to create a small terrain and how to you know use the vegetation editor and terrain editor to create a small island with uh grasses and trees this looks this looks pretty good the grasses have um shadows the trees have shadows too uh this will be bad for the performance so i'm going to uncheck trees and select both of the grasses and i'm going to disable shadows so if you go to cast shadow mean spec, I'm going to do a never. It's going to remove the shadows from the grasses. Uh, and uh, trees are fine because you need the shadows for trees. And I'm going to enable trees. So now you'll see the grasses have no shadows. Uh, but the trees have shadows. Uh, because you want shadows for trees. Because you want to rest underneath the, underneath the tree, you know, when the, when the sunlight is too hot. Uh, so yeah, so I don't know. Let me let me know if you guys liked it. I found it useful. If you have any questions, um, until next time, goodbye.